Today we're out on the Columbia River and we're having fun getting set up. We're going to do 360 flasher setups and that's going to be followed by spinners as well as super baits. We're going to fill them up with some bait and uh, get some things out. We're seeing some fish on the graph, so that's exciting. We're seeing them on the bottom. We're seeing them suspended. They look like big fish. They look like Chinook. Here's our setup we're using here today on the Columbia River. Fish for some Chinooks. We're in a little Dave's Tangle Free, 16 ounce weights. We're putting these weights on a dropper. 24 inches because we're going to be touching the bottom. The bottom here has got a lot of up and down, so we'll be tapping off of that, looking for those fish holding right behind those humps. The current, we're going out like it is. The fish are staying out of the current, hugging the bottom real tight. So that's going to keep our Super Series Short Bus Flasher from hitting the bottom and getting all tore up, snagging on stuff. When we drag that, we've got that rigged on the line lock, sliding line lock here, down to a bead with a bead on it, down to a bead chain. We've got our heavy bumper. And we got a different, three different setups we're going to be running here, spreading the gear out, trying some different techniques. First one's going to be on a spinner. Behind yeah, this one, we got our speed set just right. We're checking it right now. Everything's rolling really good. See that down in the water working. Go ahead and let that out. Same Dave's Tangle Free with our dropper on a slider, Super Series, short bus flasher here. This one we're going to run a Super Bait. We've got our tuna packed in there. Sauce on it. It's ready to let this one out. We're in the Brad's Cut Plug packed with our tuna. Same short bus flasher, Dave's Tangle Free weight on a dropper. We're going to put, send this one down to the bottom. As I'm driving the boat, I'll be watching for grass in the water. Okay. And I'll let you guys know when you're watching the rods if there's some grass coming down the side of the boat. So you can pick a rod up, move the line over in the water to try to keep the stuff, keep the grass off the lines as okay. much as possible, keep them clean. And every pass, we'll lift the rods up, clean the grass and the moss off. Sometimes you'll get stuff stuck on your bait back there, dragging right. off the hooks. It's tangled up on the flasher. Right. A lot of stuff happens. Got it. Everything's got to be as clean as possible, yeah. keep things working real consistent. And that's what will really get these fish on the bite. Hey, so we're out here on the Columbia. We just had a nice fish on here. Our super bait setup, trolling, 40 feet of water. Look for these summer Chinooks. The short breast flasher, 360. Pick this one up on the Rotten Banana Super Bait, packed with tuna. We're set up, here's the fish. Been them bleeding out. Real nice quality. Got it on a red line, Lemma Glass, red line series rod. Just dragging the bottom. <laughs> 